Hello everyone, this is me, Satya here, and I'm doing your second week of October read, start from the 8th through the 14th of October 2021. This reading is going to be for the sign of Sagittarius. So let's see what is going to go for Sagittarius for the second week time. I will be adding message from your person, plus we will also be adding uh, oracle cards as well in this reading. So stay tuned, and now while I shuffle the cards, let me remind you, it is a general reading, it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there, so always pick the signs and messages which are resonating and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So yeah, let's see, Sagittarius, what is going to go for you for this week time? Three of Pentacles. Pair up with nine of swords i feel like you know the start of the week is not going to be as pleasant as you would like it to be there will be a lot going on in your life maybe you would be working a lot maybe you are going to be having restless nights because of the work pressure because of the you know the worldly pressure you will be unable to have your me time but i i feel like you know, this energy is not going to be something uh which is going to last long so it is a momentarily energy maybe a day or two is going to be very very busy for you because of your work maybe uh, you know family commitments but yes you are going to be fine after that so i feel like you know, the first two uh days of this week could be kind of tiring for you uh but yeah let's see more cards here wow there you go four of wands two of cups five of pentacles and ace of wands underneath the deck there you go beautiful energies now i feel like you know maybe maybe you um this energy that you would be having like you know you would be busy you would be having a lot on your plate to get done with but yes i feel like you know it could be related to your love uh, it could be related to your your work life it could be related to your family life where you will have a lot of things to get done with and uh, you would feel restless because you would not be having your me time where you could have the you know the person and talk to the person that you want that you like that you want to spend uh, your time with you would feel like you know you you really wish to have uh that one person in your life because you are going to miss that love you are going to miss that care you're going to miss that uh you know happiness that you have when you are with the with the person in love so i feel like you, know, you are going to be feeling uh the need to be spending some time with the one that you love if you have already somebody in your life but if you don't have anyone in your life i feel like you know you would feel the need to get married you would feel the need to be in a relationship you would feel the need to be in a situation where you have somebody of your own so even if in in days like that you do have somebody to to uh, to to call up to to be with to cuddle to hug to feel loved so there is going to be that need of having that one person in your life uh, who can make you feel loved, who can make you feel special. Maybe right now you might be feeling that you are, you know, you don't have that one person and it's like uh, making you feel like, you know, you are not worthy of that kind of relationship maybe at times. But I feel like, you know, again, this is a momentarily feeling. The more you're going to, you know, kind of uh, get yourself thinking in the uh, in the way where you are going to feel like, you know, you are worthy of that love, you are worthy of that life, you are worthy of that uh, abundance, you will be start like you know attracting the right kind of people or uh, right kind of situations which is going to help you have the kind of life that you desire so i feel like you know i would definitely recommend you not to think heavily around what is not working well for you what is causing you the stress right now whenever you have time whenever you are feeling free and when you have that need to be with that person i would suggest you to close your eyes live that new version of yourself who has that one person in your life who is feeling loved because that person loves you madly. Um, you know, whatever you desire in your love life, I would suggest you to indulge yourself thinking about the thoughts that you really want to see your future self having. Uh, not otherwise. Like, you know, this is something which you might be experiencing right now, but this is something that you really want to change. So what you're going to do is cut the focus off from the situation to the situation which is desirable, which is something that you really want for yourself and stop thinking that you are uh, left alone you don't have anybody of your own don't reaffirm those negative thoughts as you do that as you make it a habit of you know switching your thoughts from this to this you will start seeing some shift coming up for you in your life you will be meeting the right kind of people you will be meeting the right kind of situations you will be having the opportunities 
to reconnect with the person, to meet with the new person, to have that new beginning in your love life, which is going to bring excitement back in your life. So I, I would definitely recommend you to um, stop utilizing your time thinking about the things which are bothering you. Instead of doing that, think of the, you know, uh, think of what you desire in your love life so you could attract more of it to come for you. Let's see more cards here. I feel like, you know, there is this one person that you really love. Uh, you really want that person to show up with something beautiful. Uh, you might be seeing this person in your dreams as well. And uh, the more you think of this person, the more you want to have a committed relationship with that person. Now, if you feel that your person is non-committal and if you have those kind of issues with your person, whether you are in touch or out of touch, what you got to do is you start uh, you know, imagining, visualizing as if you are married to that person already and that person really loves you, that person really admires you, that person really like, you know, if you see your future self in your mind's eye, what do you have? Your person really madly loves you and everything is perfect. You are having a beautiful life together and everything that you desire. Now, that is what you need to focus on. That is what you need to keep your mind on. You know, try to utilize this time uh, of this week time to create the life that you desire in your mind first and then you will start seeing the reflection of it in your current situation as well where the communication might start happening where the uh, you know the person that you are dealing with would stop taking you for granted and would start needing to give you commitment so if you really want them to change for you you need to stop reaffirming what you have been doing up till now and manifest what you desire with your person the energies could be reversed for some of you but yeah let's see what is the message from your person let's see i choose to walk away <clears throat> or stay silent but i am badly affected now again you really feel at times that your person is not into you uh, you feel that this person is non-committal but again that is something that you need to stop reaffirming to see the results that you want to see try to understand that one thing to get the life that you desire with your person so let's see what else is the message for you for this big time guardian of abundance this is a time of great success for you all your plans are blessed and will move forward perfectly unexpected job opportunities arise in the near future make sure to accept them this card indicates that someone with an amazing career isn't involved in this situation this is a powerful person with great integrity who enjoys hard work this person could be you as well. So the energies could be reversed for some of you, but it can be the energy of the person that you are dealing with as well. So let's see more cards. Let's see what else do we have. Indigo and crystal children. You have a bond with children. In particular, you can help children who are sensitive. So helping people can also ease the stress that you might be having right now in your love life to get the life that you desire with your, with your person. Maybe you can do some charity donations to the kids as well. Who need help who need uh, blessings maybe you can do that as well um let's see more cards for of winter set aside your concerns for now you can make a decision later solutions that come from meditation the need for more sleep or a vacation stop overthinking about what is not working well for you try take a time uh, off if you really want to but if you don't want to waste more of your time i would definitely recommend you to start using what i just told you uh, to create the life that you desire because you are so powerful and especially this week time is going to be ideal for you to have what you desire uh, by just switching your thoughts you can have your person committing to you the one that you believe is a non-committal love is all around you there is all there is love everywhere all the time simply acknowledge this as truth Start telling yourself, your person really loves you madly. Make some affirmations. If you can't make affirmations, you can purchase from me as well. So you need to start feeling the love that you desire to receive from your person as if they are already loving you. Stop reaffirming any negative thought, any negative stuff that you might be doing, which is why it is reflecting in your reality. Change your thought for a few days for yourself and you are going to start seeing the reflection of that thought 
in your reality coming from your person try that for yourself and if you you know if you succeed start you know being that new you who has all the thoughts all the time which aligns you with what you desire not the opposite so yeah that's pretty much it coming up for you for this week time if it helped you do like share and subscribe till i do the next read for you guys take care bye